Okay, welcome to this second video on the uh, Philips EasySense uh, product in which we'll explain to you more about the task tuning of the EasySense product. And in order to explain to that, uh, we will be using the Philips Field app as you can see on the screen. We have actually two versions of the Field app, which is the EasySense NFC version and the EasySense IR version. And I will be using both of them during this video to explain how you can easily configure the EasySense product. Um, first of all, as a general remark, maybe I can say to you that in most cases, the parameters of the EasySense are actually perfectly fine. They don't need to be changed. Maybe for peculiar use cases, where for instance the parameters of the EasySense, as I can pull them up now using the NFC app, need to be changed from, for instance, the standard value of 15 minute prolonged time, need to be changed to, for instance, a prolonged time of infinite. That could be a peculiar use case, for instance, in a stairwell, where fixtures never should switch to completely off. So I can confirm and can program the EasySense using the NFC app of my, uh, of my smartphone. And I program now this EasySense here prior to the job to having this uh, pro prolonged time uh, infinite uh, for this stairwell application. And I can continue and program more of these EasySenses to prepare for, um, for this stairwell job to have an infinite prolonged time. So that's the kind of way in which peculiar use cases can be organized prior to the installation using the NFC version of the app, even without having power on my EasySense devices. All right, in second general remark, um, the use case that we see as most often, maybe 90% of the, use ca uh, the cases people will use this uh, use case, is where the IR version of the EasySense can be used to quickly change the light level of the fixture. So once you have installed, for instance, these fixtures here on the table, and the light level is just a little bit too bright, you can go to quick light level setting and you can change the task level to a value of, uh, say for instance, 60%. So I will be doing that now, and I will be writing this 60% value to the entire group. This is only a group of two fixtures here, but I can write with my phone this value of uh, 60% towards the fixtures and then all of them will acknowledge the receipt of my command and have adjusted the task value now to 60 percent. So that's the way, uh, that's a use case that we see very regular, that we see very often where people quickly will change the light level settings of, uh, of the fixture. All right, um, in this way the uh, EasySense NFC app and the EasySense IR app are actually complementary to each other. So the same parameters can be changed. One of them you will be using prior to the job when there is no power on the EasySense. The other one you will be doing from the floor. When there is power on the fixtures, you can quickly change, for instance, the light level settings. The fundamental difference between the EasySense NFC and the EasySense IR app is that only with the EasySense NFC I can read the parameters of my EasySense. So I'm holding the phone now to this little group that I've just programmed a second ago, and you can indeed see that the task level of these fixtures have now been adjusted to 60%. So only with NFC I will be able to read those values from the EasySense. Okay, so that uh, is then the uh, way to configure the EasySense in the field using the IR version or the NFC version. And we will now show to you how you can download the app on your uh, Android phone. So here you see the website of the EasySense product, the philips.com EasySense website. And at the bottom of the website, you can see the Philips field apps. And if you click on that, you will see some instructions, but you can also register yourself for the, um, uh, for the Philips field apps and you fill in some information about the company and you will download then, going down to the, to the bottom, you will tag the EasySense NFC and the EasySense IR app to be able to change the configuration of the EasySense. All right, so this concludes this video here where we have shown to you how we do the field task tuning with the Philips Field app. The next video, we will be showing you how to create such a group and how to add switches to the group. Thank you very much.